at first hand, not to tell you anything personal to Pat. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because immediately Pat comes to me and says... Just slammed him with it. I heard you I heard you did this, heard you did that. And I was like, so you telling Pat things now. <laughs> she got a real butter. I gotta just give you one, like, a piece of advice, people out there. Do not tell your significant other friends shit about your significant other. Because they are definitely going to tell their friend. Oh, yeah. I'm it's sorry, that's just a stupid move to, to say, to talk shit about, you know. No, it wasn't, it wasn't talking shit either, though. No, it wasn't. It was like, it was something Drew said, and then I threw it into his face like, oh, well, you did this, you yeah. motherfucker. So, and, fuck and I, you. And then Drew was like, oh, damn. And I, I just looked at Catherine like, how the hell did he know that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, She got beat red. Oh, she did. <laughs> she did. And I, and I told her what, that night, I was like, so, you found out what it was like to tell Pat something personal, don't you? <laughs> and she said, she said, yes. <coughs> she said, you're never going to do it again, are you? She says, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, Pat, Ain't no Pat doesn't more, right? have a filter. Like, he'll just straight up talk to people. Mm-hmm. He don't give a shit whether it's going to hurt their feelings or not. No. No. Uh, I'll tell you he how I also feel. Loves, right when I feel it. He also loves talking about people that are right next to us. Mm-hmm. Which really bothers me. I don't know if we ever mentioned this in the podcast. Love that. But I get really uncomfortable situations. You get real uncomfortable. And but Pat don't. I don't at all. <laughs> and it's weird. It's like it's like one of these things like somebody will do something and be like, man, fuck that dude right now. And he'd be like, for me to Drew, fuck this guy right here. And like, whatever. Sometimes, sometimes they'll, they'll react. Uh-huh. And then it's like, Whatever, stop being a little bitch. Yeah. So, whatever, you know. But they deserve it. It's kind of it's weird because it's not really talking about them behind their back. Cause they literally standing right there. No, they there. They're literally right they there. They just he he's just assuming that they're not paying attention. Maybe most most of the time they they're not. Sometimes they, they do. Yeah. But, sometimes uh, they catch Pat doing it. And, uh, but it's not meant to be talking shit like around behind the back. It's meant to like, for them to hear it. Like on the set we were on. I'm not gonna say who you're talking about. We're not gonna say that, but like, you picked up a dude's like business card. Remember this? You picked uh, up his yeah, business yeah. card. He started talking shit about the business card. Dude was right in front of me. Well, he <laughs> he no. This is what happened. He was standing on the other side of the door, and uh, he walks into Pat waving it around because the card wasn't like where we should have been touching, like you know stuff. Pat waving it around, and the dude walks in, and Pat goes, "This your card?" <laughs> and he like he like he like yeah that, that's so and so he's like oh okay cool and <laughs> tosses it and I'm just like hey you can't be just touching stuff it's like talking about people when they're right here and he yeah. like he like yeah I can yeah, well you can <laughs> some people need to hear it and it it, it benefits their life oh it does no it does benefit their life I swear to you like some people need to hear the truth. I know. Lots of people, lots of these motherfuckers can't handle the truth right now. It's hard, dude. We're all about her. So we, we've sensed the people, Pat. Everybody else in the world sensitive. Everybody's sensitive. You boy, you boy sensitive. I know. But. You sensitive as fuck. But, uh, but anyway, <laughs> no, it's like, some, dude, some people need to hear that they fucking at. Oh, like, yeah. They really don't know. And, like. If I gotta be the person that tells the whole world they fucking up, then <laughs> what are you gonna do, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know. Fuck those people. Anyway, what? so, yeah, yeah, you boy over, like, just done. Everybody fucking up, being dumb as shit. Mm-hmm. Alright. No, no, I'm not gonna go in. No, no, I'm not going on? into that one. You moving on? Right, moving on. So let's talk about something a little bit better. Let's talk about the little things in life that makes us happy since we're so pissed off about people. <laughs> yeah. So fuck people, but the little things though. Now the little the, things. The little things. That beer thing. That beer. Uh, Every time I get a little beer, <laughs> you really just makes life a right little now, the the smile on a face. Been told um, a lot of people's favorite drunk of all time. Which is it's nice. It's nice to hear. Pat, you are, uh, I'll be honest, you're pretty good drunk. Uh, pretty good. But I'm not aggressive. I, I get real loud. The the You were a good drunk until that 11th beer. And then you kind of... Then I was amazing. No, no. Yeah. 
No. Uh, you were uncontrollable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, Real loud, though. So, like, what we were just saying about I don't have a filter. I don't just talk. Oh, my God. It, it, as these oh. progress, that it gets amplifies. Amplifies like crazy. So, instead of talking, like, in a normal tone of voice next to somebody when he's talking shit about them, he'll literally be yelling at them. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's hard. It's pretty amazing. Well, we it's probably pretty hard to be my friend at that point. We kind of do the same. <laughs> We kind of do the same thing. Uh, I get to the point where I don't care about talking to people. Remember that That's time? That's so funny. One of the first times we like got oh, to go to a bar. Oh, my God. Together. This dude. Oh. You want to tell the story? Oh, my God. So, Drew, all right. All right, back it up, back it up. All right, so I just moved to L.A. And I cannot Drew came it. out to visit because he wanted to see if I wanted to live here. Yeah, if he was digging it and if he was about this. And so I was like, all right, cool, yeah, come, come hit it up and stay out here. One night, I'm off, and I'm like, yo, let's, let's me and you go to the bar. We haven't been to the bar yet. So we go to the bar, and I don't know. You must have not eaten that day or something. Maybe you ate a little bit. No, what happened was we had those fucking tokens, and we were oh, getting drinks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were getting like right, one, two, so, one. All right, so here's the, here's the thing. We had this, there was this bar, and I forgot that we were, we were there. Okay, um, I thought we were at a different place. So, anyway, there's this place that would give you tokens for free well drinks. <clears throat> and the bar happened to be literally right under his apartment. Right under it. Well, like, yeah, it was in a, basically the same bar, party lot. Yeah. So, we walked over. And we just happened to have a stack of tokens too. Oh. So Drew was like, "Oh shit, free drinks all basically all night. Well, one, uh, two for one, basically." Yeah. So we start throwing these tokens. Drew starts having quite a few rum and cokes. Yep. And uh, there's six people in the fucking bar. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. like it was like a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And so we walk in. We're sitting. We're drinking. And. We're sitting on, like, all right, so, like, the end of the bar, like, the very, like, the corner, we're sitting on one side, and then these two girls are sitting, like, on the long ways part of the bar, a little bit, a few seats down. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Drew gets real faded. Real, real faded. Like, uh, per usual. Yeah. And Drew's single at this time, so, just, so he's, like... He goes, hey, 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 yo, bitch! Like, <laughs> to these two girls, and, like, they both fucking turn, and no. Drew's like, <laughs> and, like, fucking, dude, they didn't hear me, they didn't hear me. These two girls were staring me straight in the face. No. Yes, they were. No. This is where the story changes between the two perspectives. This is not, because this dude was faded, your boy was not. So, for some reason, Pat's filter was on that night, and he was not talking shit about anybody at any time, and I was feeling real loose. So, I started loose, talking. Loose. I was tar- start, tar- 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 He started talking. That was literally his speech at that time. Yeah. <laughs> I was, like, talking. I was like, yeah, I just, I just talked to those girls right there. They came and hear me. I just, you know, whatever, because I think I tried to say something. Oh, I know what happened. They, they, um, oh. they, like... Didn't accept a token or something like I was trying to give. Oh them, yeah, yeah. And, he and was it, trying to give him away. I was, was yeah. fucked up. I was like, I was like, here, the, let's give them the token or whatever. And they wouldn't accept it. They wouldn't look over here. And mm-hmm. so I started just going on a rant about how these bitches won't listen to me. Oh yeah, and he I was, was just really like, offended. I was like, see Pat, see Pat, they won't even listen. I can talk about it right now. I can talk about these two bitches. And I was like going on and talking about them. And uh, and I didn't think that I was loud at all. And I didn't think that they were listening. Not that I get cared at the time. No, you but didn't care you, about the damn. You were like. Stop, Drew. Stop. They're listening. They're looking at right here. They're like, stop. I was like, no, they're not. They're not looking. I'm looking at them. They're not looking. And I was like, they're not looking at me. Da, 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 da. And so I just kept going for like a good 10 minutes. Good 10 before I said, Drew, it's Let's time go. to go. <laughs> like, it's time. That's the only time I've literally been like, it's time to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we just could get in trouble. Yeah. So like, <sighs> dude. The, Oh man, yeah, it was like it was like the point. Like the bartender knew we lived right there because we told him like every time we got drunk in there. Yeah. So, and Drew's like going off on their 
three customers that they had. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, yo, bitch, oh, you, you, you don't want no drinks for me? Fuck you, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, on the corner. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. But that was a night that, that this little precious thing did not work out for us. But it did, it did later on because we had a, a beer and we played some video games and it, it got nice. Yeah. But it rained, though. That was weird. Um, so we, we went a little, a little off topic with that story, but the, the but. topic is the little things in life that make life a little sweeter mm-hmm. that you, don't, you take for granted sometimes and you don't, you don't really think about. Mm-hmm. Like, um, for instance, I like hot water. Hot water. Yeah, you don't really think about that, but that's really important. Hot water. When I get home from a long-ass shoot or something, mm-hmm. and, you know, maybe you, maybe you have a beer. Sure. Maybe. That's a that's that fire nice. water. Yeah, in that fire water. But and then uh then you get in the in the fucking shower and the shit hot? Mm. <sighs> Ooh, wait, time out. Right. Are you just me relaxing that you grab and a beer and bring it in the shower? Have you done this? Oh yeah. Oh, it is the sweetest fucking thing. It's so cold and crispy and then you're like, Oh, this shower's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that's called something that's like that's like somebody has made a, a dedicated like dedicated a, a word or a phrase to doing a beer in the shower. Oh yeah. Whatever. I can't remember. We should called. look it up. We should look it up. But anyway, yeah. No. Uh, no, I've done that. Of course I've done that. Um, uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. That one, and then like, uh, I don't know for the fellows who <laughs> like take baths, but your boy one of them. Mm-hmm. And when you get that beer in the bathtub, that's also good. That's nice too. That's well, nice. A little relaxing. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know that. Like, I mean, because a lot of places don't even have water, let alone mm-hmm. hot water. Damn, we better go. First world problems. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, no, that. <laughs> Real deep right what now. Else I, what else I really like? Um, you know, the little things is like, oh, you know, the little thing is, whenever it's the end of the month, and I see the free PlayStation games go up on PlayStation Plus, <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, shit. I love this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Love that shit. Yeah. There's like, I mean, I don't know. Even it's if they're shitty, I, I still play them. Uh-huh. Like, last night, I think I played, like, no shit, nine games I've never played. Mm-hmm. Like, four of them are all right. Well, that's good. One of them four was really fucking nine. weird. But anyway. Uh, yeah, shit like that. Um, I mean, it's a little bit, like, the the technology and cell phones now iPhones like just think about going Did I re- day. all right yeah legit I remember I don't know how what it, what our audience is really like on this particular episode but dude before cell phones that was a different world mm-hmm. you had to memorize all your homies numbers sure you had to hit them up like yo you be gonna go skate today or you just skate at their house because that was the thing like. There wasn't a, like cold calling someone was a thing. Yeah. You know, you could show up at somebody's house. Oh, was, you know, mm-hmm. so and so's here. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Mom, I'm gonna stop the chores. I'm gonna go skate. Yeah. Whatever. But um, yeah, the, the, that was a thing back in the day. Like you didn't, you didn't have to call. Like, cause then you're you're holding up the line. You know, yeah. everyone had landlines. So. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, fucking fast internet. The little things, bro. Oof. This might be a recurring topic, actually. That's, this might be. The little things? Well, yeah, the little things. Because, um, I don't know. Like, first of all, the beers, that's the little thing. You have a nice cold beer, especially if it's the last beer in the fridge. Ooh. You had a long day. Mm. Ooh, that's nice. That's, that, that little thing is a big thing in our heart. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. It is, for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean... I'm sure there's a lot of things that I, I, I guess we'll make it a reoccurring topic so I can think about all the little things that really affect me because that's the one thing about the little things is you don't really think about them, you know? And that's true. That's super true. Like, like, you don't think about a belt. You just uh, have it. You bro. just have it on the jeans. That's but true. But if you didn't have a belt, your pants go fall off your ass. Just saying. Mm, that's just saying. true. That's true. Love a good belt. Love a good belt. Love a good beer. Mm-hmm. Love... Hot water? Hot water. God damn. Oh, man. I can't even deal with it. Uh, you know what's good? A nice hug. Ooh. Ooh. A nice hug from someone is always good. You're like, oh. Uh, 
That can make my the person that can make my day. Ooh, that's that. See, that's a little thing for you, cause uh, I don't like touching people. I know you weird. I know. I love affection. It feels weird to me to touch another human being that I I don't have intimate feelings for. I remember after the first time I had sex, it was even weird for me to hug my mom. Did, did you ever get this feeling? No, I was fucking out good. Was that? <laughs> I was like, was that mom? Actually, I think I told my mom. Like, hey. Um, I I remember how to tell my mom the first time I had sex. I was like, "How was that? That was awesome." She, she, she was not happy. Really? But, but she understood. She was like, "Oh, I'm, James." She said, "She said, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I know what you be doing." Oh um, no, I, I can see James. I can see James saying that. She, she was like, "I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid." But yeah, Jane's not stupid. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, dude. The little, the, the little things, you know. This, this could be a recurring thing, a re- recurring topic, because like. We'll have to. We'll have There's to, always little things that we're psyched about. All right. Yeah. You know? So this on this segment, little things we're gonna pick beer, beer as, and hot water. Okay. We'll we'll pick two. Because you said we we talked two things about hot water. Yeah. You said true. Sure. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. So I mean, it's right now we want to we're gonna do a little throwback, 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 throwback. And uh, we're going to hit up a, a, a trending topic on Twitter. You, this is live. We haven't looked at this shit. Mm-hmm. So we don't know what we're about to get. So, trending topics on Twitter. Barbie? Yeah. Oh, Barbie. So, uh, there's I'll Never Be Too Old to. That could be kind of fun, actually. Oh, let's do that one. Uh, make a Wish Amish. Or uh, Make a Movie Amish. Nah. Nah. BBC QT, nah. No, nah, let's just do the Barbie. Title. Oh, it, Barbie's kind of weird though, because Barbie they they made some ones with like one has a fat ass. Ooh. Okay. Well, no. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're gonna do. I'll never be too old to. Hashtag hashtag. I'll never be too old to. Yeah. Oh man. So let's just think about that for a minute. Yeah. Um, it, how how long you like for, for instance for us skateboarding. Oh, that's never be too old too. That's it, obviously. It, it's gonna be one of those things that literally I cannot move my body, you know, yeah. before. No, skate skateboarding is the thing. <laughs> it is the thing. I swear to God. I mean, Tony's still doing it. Tony, uh, Steve Caps. Steve Caps. 